Hello, my name is Neil Tickton. I'm the editor-in-chief and publisher of MacTech Magazine. We're here doing the TUAW MacTech developer interviews, talking about iOS 7 and, of course, OS 10 Mavericks, and what that means to developers, things that they like in there, and, of course, how that's going to come back and impact you, the users, in, in a lot of ways. So we're here right now with Ben Surtees. He's the co-founder of uh, Surtees Studios. Thank you for coming. Thank you for Sorry, coming and checking us out. Yeah. So, you know, Apple's starting to flow out information about what we're going to see later this year about uh, uh, iOS 7 and, of course, uh, OS 10 and Mavericks. So, to start off with, of what you've heard so far, what are your favorite features in, in these new OSs? Um, initially, my favorite one is multi monitor support in OS. Yes, the favorite developer yeah, <laughs> feature yeah, in there. It's fantastic. Yeah. Eventually, built use both screens. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. very cool. And iOS, it's amazing. Yeah. It looks fantastic. It's so fresh new apps will be amazing in it um, yeah cool cool so it's kind of the, the the very selfish sort of utilitarian idea of the monitors which you're not yeah. the only one developers are loving no, yeah, this everywhere yeah, yeah. users are screaming out for it as well yeah they? it's pointless it's yeah. full screen when you've got just canvas on one of them yeah yeah, yeah but exactly I, I was saying to somebody I think my desk is going to get actually reorganized now yeah, as yeah, a result of that one feature yeah. yeah. so. um, Surtees in search or Surtees Studios, I guess yeah. is the name. Um, so, <laughs> what are you guys doing? And tell us a little bit about what you guys are up to. Um, well, since last year, we've released Bartender, which is the um, menu item control software. Mm -hmm. Allows you to hide menu bar items and stuff. Um, with the new OS coming out, we're gonna um, be working hard on multi monitor support for that, for yeah. having different menu items on different screens and right. things like that. Right. And we have some interesting iOS and Mac app combinations coming out soon, hopefully. Cool natural language calculator and things like that, which new UI will be needed, but it's a good thing. Yeah. Natural language calculator, why don't you expand on that a little bit? Um, so basically the ability to, um, like say, 25% of $500 in pounds, and it'll automatically do it for you, right. and convert, and doing that on say the Mac, you'll be able to do it with text selection as you go, and it'll work with someone, paste that in for you, and things like that. So basically taking the natural language, interpreting what's there, and then yeah, and trying doing to calculations. calculations yeah. You know, it's funny, there is, there is, I'm going to very much date myself here, but many, many years ago, there was this thing called the PIC operating system. Are yes, I know, yeah, yeah. Okay, and the big thing about PIC, uh, the PIC OS at, mm -hmm. at the time, was that you could type at what sort of was like command line, in the, is the interface, mm -hmm. and then you would type these things that they called English uh, statements, and you would say, you know, give me all the customers that have bought this product or something along those lines. And it was way ahead of its time, yeah. you know, and, and what's going on. And yet still today, you know, we, we, we have a little bit of that starting to go now yeah, with Siri, Siri and things, whatnot, yeah. but, you know, not so much on the desktop and not so much in, in some of the other places yeah. that, are, that are out there. So A great example of that, Fantastical. Yeah. How good that's working, and that's great for anyone. Which is very, yeah. very cool, very cool. So of the um, as as Apple started to get these announcements and stuff out there, we're starting to feel a little bit more about what we're going to see with with iOS and what we're going to see with uh, OS ten Mavericks. How do you see that impacting what Surtees is doing, and, and what are the, the features that you're looking? You know, you've talked a little bit about the the multi screens, mm -hmm. especially the multi. I'm sure the menus the menu support up across the both monitors that was both a oh awesome yes, yeah, uh oh <laughs> you know, huge, so, yeah, yeah. huge amount of effort yeah. in there so you got that part of it yeah. are there other things that you're looking at as, as well um the, the um, bluetooth beacon beacon support that's an area that i'm really interested in seeing what we can do with that i think that's opening up a lot of potential for um you know proximity apps and things that um, launch when you're near to your computer and stuff like that um, right that could be really cool right um, yeah cool cool well, I appreciate you, Ben, come by and tell us a little bit more about what you guys are up to these days and what you're thinking about what the Apple's technologies down the road are going to do for you. And uh, for those of you that haven't heard of Surtees, you go check them out as, as well. Uh, I'm Neil Tickton. These are the MacTech TUAW developer interviews, and I thank you for watching. <laughs>